So what did I have? I had Carlin 10. I had... Oh, Sam Kinison. What was he, 9? Hicks was 8. Oh, fucking Dave Attell. Uh, okay, Dave Attell is on this list for... I'm going to say Attell is mistakenly overrated as a stand-up comedian because he is perhaps properly highly rated as a comedian's comedian uh, so we have Attell does have without question a lifelong career of being a comedian's comedian he's probably a comedy club owner's comedian uh, he also does have a long history of act after act. He does the work. It's work ethic. He has a good work ethic. He's been around a long time. But what happened was David Tell kept getting mentioned by other comedians as the best. Who's the best right now? Oh, fucking Dave Attell is the best. This is a comedian is telling you what to through a comedian's eyes who is always having his bits always having his acts always doing the writing but the other problem see the problem is too is that there's things comedians stand-up comedians and there's no way to explain this by the way to a normal person there's things that stand-up comedians find so funny they cannot stand how funny this is that is ne you cannot apply to the audience of non-comedians he's overrated as a stand-up comedian to audiences and there's been a mistake and people are mistakenly thinking comedians are saying he's the best comedian for audience so that leads to why else he's on this list cringe comedy uh anyone who's ever gotten by on cringe comedy uh you you're gonna go on this list okay because that is the weakest cheapest lamest is cringe comedy you know you just go on about how you uh i call but i call it jizz comedy you're a jizz comic okay so if that's what you were doing you were doing jizz comedy uh jokes about jizz and then how you were eating jizz or somebody was putting jizz on their face uh you sucked and you were weak uh, so that, but anyway, a tell goes on there for a lot of cringe comedy, okay? Because that's that is a cheap, weak way out. Uh, but what are we going to say mitigating factors about a tell? Oh, by the way, a tell is also on here for a lot of mediocrity. A lot of his stuff is mediocre, okay? I, I challenge you to go through the hours and hours of it, and you're going to find a lot of mediocrity, okay? But that's fine. You're he's a joke teller he's a worker and that's great but don't mistake that for he's a fucking genius he's uh because i've heard that too oh tell is just a fucking genius man he's not a genius so let's just knock it off with that david tell is also on this list for what is one of the worst failed attempts at a comedy duo ever seen uh, it's him and it is Jeff Ross. Uh, him and girl dater Jeff Ross decide that they're going to be a hilarious duo. I don't suppose I could show clips. You know, they probably take this video down. So you just go ahead and find. First of all, the thing is stupid because we are calling it bumping mics. But neither of you two are named Mike. Right? If you were both named Mike and one was Mike and one was Michael or something, this would make it funny. So I I don't know. I guess maybe that's funny to a comedian. I guess maybe I do find that funny. But that's not a good idea if your idea is to take over the comedy world. And if you watch these, uh, Attell is actually vacant. He's vacant from the comedy. It's the strangest thing you'll ever see. It is Jeff Ross um, uh, with a comedy tennis racket hitting the balls up and down in the air uh, like he's setting up jokes and also hitting them and hitting the punchlines and then David tells sitting there looking uh, slightly worried and going uh, throwing in the odd yeah that's it yeah oh it is bad it's it's 
That's one of the worst things I've ever seen. <laughs>